The Shop 3 Sheep Eater Written and read by W.P. Thrift Who can be contacted at Lantis Armstrong on Twitter And cover art created by J.D. Contactable at Radix underscore L on Twitter Epilogue He knew the whole world Months had passed since the fall of Sheep Eater, and the island, once possessing so many horrors, had quickly become abandoned. The very last to leave was Austin and Jogamesh, setting off on the third raft Austin had built, as Jogamesh somehow found a way to ruin the first two. They traveled 1,400 miles to the nearest populated island, Using a compass, Jogamesh had stolen off Solid Biscuit during his encounter with him. Well, he claimed to have sneakily stolen it, at least. Really, he just found it on the ground after they had tumbled all the way down the mountain together. Jogamesh insisted that this made their escape equal parts his doing, and by the time they had reached Easter Island, that story had changed to Jogamesh being the indisputable lone hero. Frustrated by this, Austin suddenly found himself inspired by another story Jogamesh had once told him. And so he found himself two rocks he could use as a makeshift chisel set, and he walked to the first large stone he could find, a stone which was taller than he was. All the while, Jogamesh was running off to seek help. Help only for himself, of course. Austin knew that it was unlikely that he would ever see the rat again, which gave him plenty of time to do what he had come to this stone to do. Austin began to chisel everything that had happened to them into the stone, so that the world might know of his own heroic actions and not be duped by Jogamesh in the future. He started the tale with a thesis statement, which read as follows. I will proclaim to the world the deeds of Austin. This was the man to whom all things were known. This was the theater director who knew the countries of the world. He was wise. He saw mysteries and knew secret things. He brought us a tale of the days before the flood. He went on a long journey, was weary, worn out with labor. Returning, he rested and engraved on a stone the whole story. That concludes Sheep Eater. If you've enjoyed it, then please subscribe to this channel to be notified of all future content releases. In the meantime, if you would like to reach me, you can do so at Lantis Armstrong on Twitter. That's L-A-N-T-I-S-A-R-M-S-T-R-O-N-G. Thank you for tuning in, and someday, should there be enough demand for it, you can join us again for another brand new audiobook, The Shop for Shattering of the Pariahs.